do you give any kind of pills? Yes. Just for like for what? For pain medication. Good. Just for pain? Yes. Okay. You drive down Interstate I forty eastbound with no lights on on your car. No lights. No lights. Okay. No tail lights or headlights. Okay. Okay. Who was that guy in that white Camaro or white Corvette? You have no idea? No. Okay, because they're on you pretty good. I actually think they're trying to flash you. And then they're trying to drive crazy, so I wouldn't go after you. On October 9th, 2022, an officer noticed a woman driving on the freeway without headlights, and she appeared to be struggling to stay within her lane. This behavior raised concerns about possible impairment or distraction while driving. Who's that, who's that guy in that white Corvette? Who's that guy in the white Corvette that was, that was following you guys? I don't know. No idea? White a white Corvette? No, no idea? No. Okay. Wait, there's a white Corvette following us? Yeah. Mm-hmm. That's probably them calling you saying, hey. No. My, my baby mother. What's that? That's how my baby mother is. Is my, my wallet down there? Is your wallet black? No. Okay. Upon stopping the vehicle, the officer found that the female driver was accompanied by her one-year-old baby. Ma'am, did you come out with your phone? And a male passenger raising additional concerns about the safety of the occupants, given the erratic driving behavior and the presence of a young child. No, you don't have it with you? No. I have it, it's just white and gray. Okay. So bring it. So bring your phone out here so we can see your insurance and then I yeah, get your stuff. Come on out, ma'am. No, no. I said. I said. Come on out, ma'am. Did you come on out with your phone. The officer initiated the investigation by requesting the female driver's license. When she failed to provide it the officer asked her to step out of the vehicle. The driver complied with the officer's instructions and exited the vehicle, indicating a willingness to cooperate. Any, any idea why I'm stopping you? No. No idea? Because no. you're, you're, you're driving down Interstate I-40 eastbound with no lights on on your car. No lights? No lights. Okay. No taillights or headlights. Okay. okay. Who was that guy in that white Camaro or white Corvette? You have no idea? No. Okay, because they're on you pretty good. I actually think they're trying to flash you. And then they're trying to drive crazy, so I wouldn't go after you. You have no idea who that is? Or you or I, or I usually want to tell me. Okay, I think you know. It's, it's fine. It's fine. Maybe uh, he or she will come back here and we can have a talk here. Okay, so that's why I'm stopping you. Okay, so I stop you. There's only, there's only well, there's three people in the car. There's a little baby in the back seat. Is that your baby? Yes? Yes or no? Can you speak? Yes. Okay, this is where we gotta talk to each other, okay? So, there's a baby in the back of the car, there's a male passenger, and then there's you. There's also a strong odor of not beverage emitting from you two and the car, because I doubt, because I doubt it's the baby. There's what? A strong odor of not beverage, okay. as well as marijuana. Marijuana? As well as marijuana. Oh, okay. no. Okay, well, I'm, I'm, I'm telling you what I smell. I don't smoke. You gotcha, well, maybe that guy does. Okay. So, so which is obviously it's, it's, it's legal, okay, if he's smoking, it's legal. Okay. I pull you out of the vehicle, uh-huh. okay, I've never seen you walk before. Yes. But your balance seems impaired to me. Okay. Okay. That odor of non beverage? Yes. Still exists from your from your breath. Okay. How much did you drink today? I had a drink. Okay, just one drink? Just one. When did you have that one drink? A lot early, earlier, yeah. I'm 10 Who's the R.O. of the vehicle? That's my car. Okay. Okay. So you had one drink when? A while ago. Go. Okay, what's a while? Like an hour. Okay. Well, what time do you think it is right now? Like twelve. Okay. So you had one. Hour, so you had one drink at eleven ish. Yes. What, what kind of drink was that? That first, the officer informed the female driver about the reasons for the investigation explaining that she was stopped because she was driving without headlights and failing to maintain her lane. This initial explanation was crucial for transparency and to ensure the driver understood the reasons behind the traffic stop and subsequent investigation. Pichon? Yeah, probably 10-6 fields with her. I'm 10-4. 
Patron? Yes. One shot of Patron. Okay. Do put your heels, I'm gonna check your eyes real quick. Put your heels and toes together. Is that your sides? Your glasses, just put them, put them on top of your head real quick. Perfect. And any, any, any major head injury? No, I had some teeth. My, my teeth were really infected and I got an abscess. When, when was this abscess? This abscess was like yesterday. Yesterday? I went, I went to the dentist. Okay. Yeah. And did you give me any kind of pills? Yes. Just for like, for what? For pain medication. Yeah, just for pain? Yes. Okay. Andrew, so it's other, other than that, do you have any kind of traumatic traumatic brain injury? No. Okay. See my finger? Yes. Up. Don't, don't hang on to my car for balance. See? Okay. okay. And do you normally sway? No. Okay. Why are you swaying tonight? I'm swaying? Yeah, because you actually hang on to my car for balance. I don't know. Okay. You don't, you don't, you don't feel yourself swaying? No. Okay. See my finger? Yes. Follow my fingertip with your eyes only. Don't move your head. Okay. My hands can move from your left to your right. Just fall the whole time. Here we go. Yeah, go, go, go put your glasses on. Okay, ma'am, two more, two more quick tests and we'll, and we'll possibly get you on your way. Okay. Do you have, do you have shoes? My friend took my shoes earlier because she got in a fight with her friend, her boyfriend, and I let her take my shoes. Okay, so you don't have shoes in the car? I don't. Okay. Well, luckily, luckily for you, the surface is pretty. Okay. It should be free of any uh, anything okay. bad. Could you very stand right here on my light? Yes. And fix your car, okay? Put your heels and toes together. Is there your sides? Any problems walking, balancing, or turning? I don't think so. You don't think so? Okay. What do we do for a living? I work at a mental health hospital. Okay, so you're on your feet all day. Yes. Okay. Do you a favor. What I want you to do is imagine a straight line from your left foot. Straight, to, straight towards my right foot. Left to right? Imagine a straight line. Yes. Can you imagine a straight line? Yes. Okay, the line with the width of your foot, which is about uh, five five inches wide, roughly. Okay? okay? Do your favor. On that imaginary line, place your left foot just like this. Okay? Now place your right foot in front of your left, touching heel to toe like I'm doing. Hands on your sides. And do not move until I tell you to. Do you understand? Yes. And man, for that position, when I tell you to begin, and only when I tell you to begin, you would take a series of nine heel toe steps down that line. Watch me, don't start, just like this. One, two, three. I took three, you will take nine. Okay. Once you take nine steps, you would keep your front foot planted with your back foot. Bring around like this, take a series of small steps, turning all the way around. And now you'd be facing my police car. Okay. Ma'am, did you understand the turning process? I think so. You think so? I think so. Do, do you want me to show it to you again? Yes. Okay, stay like that. Okay, no, no, get back in the position. Okay. On your, on your nice step, you'll end up like this. Keep your front foot planted with your back foot. Bring it around like this, taking a series of small steps, turning your butt up. No, don't start yet. No. Nope. To confirm whether the female driver was intoxicated, the police officer decided to administer a few field sobriety tests. The first test involved asking her to follow his finger with her eyes to perform the horizontal gaze nystagmus test. Right foot in front of left. It's like that. Okay, don't move. Okay, now did you understand the turning process? I think so. Okay, what part don't you understand? I get it. Are you sure? Yes. Okay, after you turn like I showed you, yes. you'll take nine more heel toe steps down that same line, just like this. One, okay. two, three, back down to number nine. Okay. Ma'am, during this test, keep your hand directly, directly at your sides. I okay. can't. Okay. We're right foot in front of left. Okay, ma'am, during the test, keep your hand directly at your sides. Look down your feet while you count, and count out loud so I can hear you. Okay. Also, once you start this test, don't stop it until you've completed it. Wait, do I have to do this? You don't have to, it's totally up to you. Okay. I just, I have to, I, I just told you that we have to do two more quick tests. I and feel you... like it's hard even for me if I... <laughs> like, in general, okay. Right foot in front, left, okay. Also, don't forget to touch heel toe. No, that's one. Heel toe. Was that nine? How many, how many was that? Eight. That was eight, okay. So then do nine back this way.
Okay, stand right there on my light. Turn to face me. Put your heel and toes together. Kids are your sides. Next test called the one leg stand. Okay, when I'm gonna try to begin, what I want you to do is raise the leg of your choice. Either your left leg or your right leg, approximately six inches parallel with the ground. Do you know what the word parallel means? Straight with the ground. Correct. Do you know roughly how tall six inches is? No. So it's a Coke can roughly? Okay. Okay, watch me, don't start yet. Okay, what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna raise my left leg. Don't start yet. Man's are my sides. Okay, ma'am, my left foot is raised. My foot is parallel with the ground, hands are my sides, and once your foot is raised, you look down at your foot. Count like this, 1,001, 1,002, 1,003, 1,004, 1,005, and just keep on counting until I tell you to stop counting. Throughout this test, keep your hands directly at your sides, look down at the foot that is raised, and count out loud so I can hear you. Okay. Any questions? I don't think so. You don't think so? Is there something I need to clear up for you? No. Are you sure? So that means you fully understand. Okay, you, you can start when you want, I'll tell you when to stop. Okay, stop. Come over with me. Watch out, watch out with the gas. Sit right here, put one hand here. Turn, other way, other way, right there. Put your left hand on, right here, left hand on this light. Right hand on that light. Face my car, put both hands behind your back. After the horizontal gaze nystagmus again test, the police officer asked the female to perform another field sobriety exercise. Despite her attempt, she was unable to complete it, successfully showing signs of impairment with signs of intoxication confirmed. The officer made the decision to take her into custody and placed handcuffs on her. There you go, keep them there, okay? You baby's one year old? Is that the dad in the car? Where? You passenger? No. Okay, well, that poses something else now. Who's? Is your mom here in town? Can I call her dad? Sure. Hang tight. Can I have my phone? Well, yeah, we'll take your phone. Okay, listen to me, right now I'm about to tell you something very important. Yes? You are under arrest. Okay. For driving while under the influence of intoxicating liquor and or drugs. The domestic and Pike Consent Act requires you to submit to a breath test to determine the alcohol content of your blood. If you take our test, you have the right to choose an additional independent test. If you choose to take this additional independent test, you have the right to a reasonable opportunity to arrange for a physician, a licensed nurse, or a or technician or technologist who's employed by the hospital, or a physician of your own choice to perform additional chemical tests. The cost of this additional test will be paid for by the law enforcement agency, which is us, the New State Police. Do you agree to take our test, at which time I am asking you for a breath test? Okay. Ma'am, I can't force you to take our test, but if you refuse, you will lose your metro driver's license or non-resident operating privilege for one year. If you are convicted in court for driving while under the influence, you may also receive a greater sentence if you have refused to be tested. Furthermore, you'll be charged with aggravated DWI. That's the way law works here in the state of Mexico. With that in mind, do you want to submit to a breath test? No. Okay, open, open your mouth. Call her father? Okay, we'll handle that. We, we probably call CYFD. Open your mouth. Open your mouth. Lift your tongue. Okay. It is now 12 11, okay? okay? Obviously, you get, you're wearing spandex or leggings or whatever, nothing on you. Okay, come back here. Can I call her dad? I'll call her dad for you. Wait. Your phone's up there. Can I call him? Yeah, we'll, 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 we'll give him a call here in a minute. Wait, but he doesn't know. We have your phone. Let me. Have can a seat. I call him? Mm -hmm. Call who? Your, her dad. Yes. I, I said. You will call him with your phone. Okay. Yeah. Can we call Get him in? now? We'll call him. Can we call him now? We'll call him. Can we call him now? Let me, let me get your phone, okay? okay. And who? And who's the passenger? I don't know him. You don't know him? Can I call her dad? I'm asking you a question. But I'm asking you. Okay. 
told her okay. that. Okay, I'm asking you who I'm asking you who the passenger is. Him. You're just giving some random guy a ride? Okay. Let's, come on, come here, talk to me real quick. Okay, so okay, so who are you to her? We honestly just met a couple hours ago. We're okay. just messing around with each other. She okay. Was, she was a yeah, I, I know. I was very well, sad. I, I could I could meet up with her auntie. I know her auntie. Mm. Well, what well, what you could do is you could call right for yourself. The car's going and the baby's going to be going. Well, as the officer was placing the female into the police vehicle, she requested to call her mom to pick up her baby. The officer allowed her to make the call, ensuring the safety and well-being of the child. Alrighty. Do I call right for myself? Yeah. Okay. Um, let me call now. And you have no and you have no idea who was in that white Corvette? I don't. Okay. Honestly. Okay, I'm gonna I'm gonna I'm gonna, I'm gonna, I'm gonna get a piece lock up the car. Can you get the keys? Yeah. Well what's gonna happen with the baby? We will we we'll take care of the baby. We'll we'll, we'll call a family member or something. Okay. Um <laughs> uh, yeah, you can call her right? Yeah, you, you, you go ahead and go there. Can I call? I, I didn't say get out of the car, did I? I'm sorry. I'm sorry. Why is your seatbelt off? Why is your seatbelt off? It, it's there for your safety, okay? Leave it on. I told you that we'd call, right? Yes. Okay, I have no reason to lie to you, do I? No. Okay. But this is hurting me really bad. Okay, well, those aren't for comfort, okay? Okay. Just don't lay on them. What's your, what's your password? Can I, can I call Karen, babe's mom. Karen? Karen, babe's mom. Okay. Karen with the K, right? Yes. And. Can I, can I talk to her? Yeah, you can talk to her. Yes. I got pulled over. And they're taking me in for a DWI. I need you to come over here to the Maverick on, uh, what is this, Candelaria? Comanche and Princeton. Comanche and Princeton to pick up the baby and my car. No, the car's gonna get towed. Oh, my baby. Okay. Right now. I'm on my, I'm on my way. Um, they will wait for me. How long will it take? After completing the investigation, the officer approached the vehicle and asked the passenger, who was a stranger to the incident, to step out. Seeing no involvement in the incident, the officer released him. Additionally, to ensure the child's safety, the officer handed the child over to her grandmother. Yep, I'll wait. Okay. I will be there. Okay. Okay, Princeton, can you send me the location? Yes, I'll drop my location. No. Can I not? No, could you, how? Right here, I'll show you. Okay. Two presses. Okay. Okay. Just so I'll send it to you. Okay. Thank okay. you, sir. I'm yes, ma'am. Okay, okay bye. thank you. Look, this right here. The camera? No. Right here. Send. It's your location? My current location. Did it send my current location? Okay. Yep. That's it? Yep. Okay. Hang tight. Never keep your keep your seatbelt on. I think it's funny how all of a sudden you want to worry about your baby. It's not funny. No, 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 no. Because I got into a fight earlier today. Yeah, earlier today. Okay. Like literally an hour ago. Okay. Right here. And you still need right here. Okay, so you decided. You know, I think it'd be a good idea to put my baby in danger. My little one-year-old baby who has who has no say. No. By driving drunk. I just want to say goodbye. Gotcha. I know gotcha. She does deserve better. At least you get another chance to be able to see you tomorrow. Luckily I stopped you before you killed yourself and or the baby. No what? It wouldn't happen? Trust me, trust me. It, it could, right? It could. So we are waiting for your baby daddy's mom? Okay.
Yeah. It's gonna be a rancho. Yeah, I got you. No, no, no. Gotcha. See? I'll, I'll let you tell her goodbye when she leaves here, but like, like you're not gonna kiss her. Yeah, yeah. We'll, we'll wait here. Okay. The female driver was later brought to court where she faced charges for driving under the influence based on the evidence gathered during the investigation conducted by the police officer. Share your thoughts in the comments section and don't forget to subscribe to our channel to stay updated on our future videos. Click on the notification bell icon after subscribing.